Hey guys, what's up? It's Natasha here and in today's video we are going to be reviewing self tanner So I got these self tanner drops. They're vegan cruelty free and Nice to put on your skin and your face instead of the one I have It's Jergens and I was putting that one on my face and it made me break out I just put it like in the places where you contour and yeah, it definitely made me break out a bit gave me some bumps around here so I Definitely like these drop ones way better because they're better for your skin and not as harmful So tonight I'm going to be putting on the drops on my whole body and my face and I'm going to show you guys before and after and Show you guys if it actually works really well because the last times I've done it I didn't put enough drops in it and I definitely was not as dark as I wanted so we're gonna try to go darker and I'll show you guys all that. So the drops I'm using today are called Isle of Paradise. And they are just the medium self-tanning drops for your face and body. Vegan friendly, cruelty free. And it's actually such cute packaging. And it's just kind of like a gel kind of texture. And you just drop about three to four as much as you want. And you're going to want to mix it with some cream. So this is CeraVe. This is good for your face and your body. Um, it's the moisturizing lotion from normal to dry skin. You can really use any lotion that you want. Um, I just chose to use this because it's the biggest one I have and it's pretty affordable. Last time I did this on my face, I dropped two drops into this and put that on my face and my neck. And I'm definitely going to try three this time because I'm doing a little photo shoot tomorrow. So we will see how that looks. And my body... I think I did three drops, so I'm gonna try maybe five drops. Yeah, I'm gonna do a vlog tomorrow on like a little photo shoot I'm doing and just like a vlog come with me on my day kind of video. Anyways, let's get started. Okay, so I was saying before that I used the Jergens before. This one is the Instant Stun Deep Bronze and this one makes you so so tan, so tan, I love it. And it does look good on my face, it just breaks me out. That's why I wanted to get this guy here because I didn't want to break out anymore. And I wanted a nice glowing tan that I wouldn't have to stress about my skin getting bad. And when I stress, my skin gets bad. So some tips before you self tan, you're gonna to want to exfoliate everywhere on your whole body. Exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. Because you want the dead skin cells to be gone and you want all that dead dry skin vanished because when you put tanning on it's going to stick to those dry um nasty dead skin cells and look blotchy so do that and shave the day before because um it will seep into the pores of your hair follicles when you shave apparently hasn't happened to me but that's what i heard so exfoliate and do all that if you need to make your own exfoliator go on pinterest and be eco-friendly also painted my nails today just want to show you guys all this loving this gel so i'm going to take off my jewelry you're going to want to wash your hands and get ready i have bathing suit bottoms underneath of course but we're just going to do the legs right now so we're going to get about five drops so we have some of the cream here we're going to do one two Three, four, five. Then we're gonna go into the other leg. Make sure to spread it all around on the back. Down. By the way, this stuff smells so good, honestly. Love the smell of it. For my stomach, I'm going to do four drops. All around my stomach, and the sides, and the back. By the way, when you do this, you don't want to be washing your hands before you go to bed. So do this at nighttime, right before you go to bed. Do not put any water on your hands because I did a mistake. I started doing dishes and water was splattering on me. And then the next day I had holes where the water was. So do not do that. Okay, I just took off my makeup and my hair is looking really messed up. So I think I splashed a little bit of water on my legs when I was washing my face. But we'll see tomorrow if it leaves little holes. So we're doing three, four, about five drops for my body and a big pump for my arms. Okay, so we're just putting it all around. 
around and I should be having my hair tied back 100%. Make sure to get under the arms because that's where I missed last time. I'm not that into tanning. Like I've never done it a lot growing up or anything, like some girls. So I'm a newbie for sure. And we're just gonna go around here. My neck, my face, and forehead. Sure to put it behind your neck as well. It's definitely much nicer when you have someone else doing your back, but I don't have anyone to do that, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. It's not summer. I don't care if my back has a circle. Whatever. Okay, here's the before of my face and my my decollete, and I will see you guys tomorrow. I feel like I could be more tan, but this is what five drops looks like. Darker, like the Jergens one is so much darker than this. Definitely gonna have to add maybe like eight drops or something next time. And this is what my face looks like. It's a little blotchy like around here, but it's really not that dark. Um, yeah, I feel like it could be darker, but we learn. I will definitely add more drops next time. And here's my legs. They are, I don't know, like I can't really see a difference. Maybe it's just because I've seen myself tan, more tan with the Jurgens. That's why I'm like, eh. But, yeah. But yeah, like you can see, I feel like it's just really dark here. Um, maybe next time I'll just do here and not around there. I'll definitely put more on tonight and probably show you guys how much more I can put on and how much darker I can get because... I thought it was gonna be darker, but anywho. Okay guys, it is the second day. I actually added more last night, so I did um, two, two more, three more drops on my legs, three more on my stomach, and then three more on my arms. I still feel like I look the same. My legs are dark, um, my arms okay, my stomach is pretty dark. It was really even and nice on my stomach. The back of my legs are a little annoying because there's like, um, like where the back of my knees are, there's a really light and I put it all over there. Like I put it here and I don't know why it would make it lighter, but yeah, you can kind of see that there. I did the insides of my arms because I didn't think I actually got them that well, but you can see there's like a hole right here of where the tanner like melted off, I guess, because maybe I was sleeping like this and it just all, it's just a hole there. Um, and it got really blotchy there, you can see that, but, but they're both different. So this one's blotchy there, and this one's not. And my hands are really yellow. So my hands are really yellow, and this is a little bit of a FYI and a warning when you're doing your body. You're going to want to wash your hands right after because your hands will turn yellow. And I did my whole body, and then I washed my hands. And they were still yellow in the morning. But because they dried on my hands already after I did my legs and I moved on to my stomach and my arms, they were already dried from after I did my legs. So there's no going back there. So what you need to do is do one leg, wash your hand. Do the other leg, wash your hands. Or you can wear gloves. But it never told me to wear gloves, like plastic gloves. It just said wash your hands after you're done. And that's what I did. I washed them twice. And they were still yellow. So I think for now on, I'm just going to use this stuff on my face. And then for my body, I'm going to use maybe the Jergens. Or there's actually another option. You guys can grab the mousse that they have on their, on their website. Um, you use a mitt with it. And I feel like that would apply and be way more smooth than this one. Because it's really hard to get all the different spots um, with the drops. And I feel like I used a lot. Like when it's on your body, the, bo the little bottle, you're going to use up a lot of it. Like I already used that much of it just for my body twice. So I think it would be more a better investment to use like a mousse on your body and then the drops on your face. So yeah, that's what I think about this product. Definitely not going to use it on my body again, just on my face. And maybe I'll get the mousse for my body, but right now I'm going to stick with the Jergens one. I don't think it's cruelty free, but 
definitely want to get one that is cruelty free and better on your skin so i'll definitely be getting the mousse one after so thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys like this video and give this video a big thumbs up and i'll see you guys later bye